In this Excel video, I will show you how to use one of the new in 2024 features in Microsoft Excel. Let's get started. So anytime you're working in a pretty big spreadsheet, or even a smaller one, but especially in a big spreadsheet with lots of data, there is a risk that because it's so full of data and information that it could slow down the performance of Excel. To check that and maybe to fix it, what you can do is go to the review tab and look in the performance group for check performance. And again, this is relatively new. So if you don't have it, you may just need to wait or maybe it's not available yet in your version of Excel. But I'm just gonna click check performance. And when you do that, you get a panel that opens up on the right. And this is checking my entire spreadsheet and not only that, but the entire workbook. So if I have additional sheets, it's checking those too, and it's looking for any performance issues. Here it specifies what kind of issues it's looking for. So excess formatting, maybe unneeded metadata, unused styles, all of those things are examples of potential problems that can slow down your workbook and make it almost unusable. This happened to me three or four years ago. I had a giant spreadsheet. It had about 4,000 rows, about 10 columns, and it got so slow that I could no longer use it. And I just had to scrap it and download the source data again and basically start from scratch. It was a terrible loss. So instead, now that this feature is available, I could just go here and review any potential problems. So in sheet one, it's found some potential problems. It says empty cells need to be optimized. So I have some cells down here, I guess, that just have blank spaces in them or they're too big or different things like that. So it says remove text properties, row height. So I could click and it could take me to that problem. You can see what it is. The row height is too big, unnecessarily so. And then there's some other problems as well. So I'm just gonna click optimize sheet. Now those potential problems are gone. The workbook is optimized and it should work as quickly and as well as it possibly can. So I really appreciate this new tool in Microsoft Excel. Again, you'll find it on the review tab in the performance group. Here it is, check performance. It would have saved me dozens of hours of work if this had been available three or four years ago. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member. But you could also just click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, I want to say thank you to my fantastic, super techie, and ultra techie channel supporters. Thanks to you, I'm able to continue making these videos in my evenings and weekends, sometimes early in the morning. It's all worth it, thanks in part to your support. Thank you so much. And here's a list of my current, as of this filming, super techie and ultra techie channel members.